Why do they have spawn protection in Execution and Warzone? It's like, we don't need that five seconds of spawn protection. I've always uh, wondered that. Just one of those weird things that Epic ended up implementing that just makes absolutely no sense. But anyway, what's going on guys? My name is Presto and I am bringing you some execution on Hotel, the mansion for Gears of War 3. And my wishes have been granted. Um, ever since my first Gears of War 3 video for you guys, I stated how execution needs to be bumped up to five rounds. Um, they were at the short uh, three round limit, and uh, it, matches just seemed to win by uh, seemed to just go by way too quick. Um, but after the hardcore weekend that Epic had given us for the shotguns only and the pistols only, uh, execution in Warzone was bumped up to five rounds, and I was hoping after the hardcore weekend had or I'm sorry, uh, the Hardcore Weekend was over, they would keep it at five rounds, and luckily they did, and I have not been happier. Uh, it just makes it so that it's more enjoyable to play, It's uh, you gain more kills, and you know, if you have a slow start to a game and a three round execution, you know, you're pretty much just screwed, and and uh, you really can't uh, get your game right but in five rounds you have more time to kind of figure out how the other team plays and it does help out a lot um, that, that's one great thing that I love that Epic has actually done uh, they actually don't need to give you title updates in the game anymore they kind of do it or they kind of update the game to where um, you don't even know that they updated the game uh, such as they would give you playlists um, Pretty much, they've given us a, a like a certain special event every weekend so far, and uh, they they actually don't need to give you an update for the game. They kind of just uh, it's kind of like uh, they do it uh, through the game itself, so we don't need to have an update, which is which is cool because. Um, they ended up tweaking the shotgun um, without actually giving us a title update and just those special events that they give us I just I, I it definitely gives the game um, a lot more flavor a lot more variety um, last time I checked on the event calendar which is in the main menu if you guys didn't know um, the last special event that we had was the hardcore weekend and the next uh, special event that we're gonna have which is actually probably going on right now it usually happens about every weekend um, from what I saw, they're going to be giving us a Boom Snipes playlist, so, uh, from what it sounds like, we're going, going to be spawning with a Boom Shot and a Sniper, which is going to be pretty disastrous, uh, it's going to be pretty crazy, uh, everyone having a Boom Shot, everybody having a Sniper, that's just going to play out very, very, um, different, and very chaotic, um, sometimes they give us, uh, they, they give us these playlists on Team Deathmatch, uh, sometimes Execution. Um, I would assume that it's going to be on Team Deathmatch, seeing how there's going to be a lot of kills involving the boom shot. Uh, I, I mean, it's cool, it's fun, it's 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 different, it's something that, you know, switches it up. Um, I actually can't wait for an only uh, Sniper's playlist. That's going to be a lot of fun, I actually uh, cannot... I, I know that they're going to have something like that. They've had a, a, an only shoddy playlist. They're going to have a boom shot and snipers playlist. Um, and I just have a feeling that they're going to have a only snipers playlist. Uh, so it's great that Epic is kind of giving this this uh, this variety uh, to play with. Um, and in this match specifically, I'm playing with about, I believe, four other people uh, my friends list which is ideal. I cannot play uh, ranked game types without having at least three people with me. Um, just so far since the game has been out I have yet to play any ranked match alone because uh, actually I think I might have played just one um, one or two maybe and uh, usually when I do 
play alone. I, I'm stuck with teammates with, uh, with no mics, and of course, as you know, communication is everything. Communication is probably the most important in Gears 3, as opposed to Gears 2 and in Gears 1. I mean, it was important in all three games, but Gears 3 does require a lot of communication, especially with a lot of cheap tactics that people like to use uh, with sawed-offs and, and uh, retros and just... Uh, being able to go down as quick as as a retro lancer, you know, you need people there to help you out. Um, but as I was saying, yes, it, it's it's ideal to play with, uh, you know, a, a, a solid group of people. Um, you know, it, it's a lot more fun to play with your friends. Uh, that sounded a little weird, but uh, it's a lot more fun to actually play the game with your friends and. Uh, rather than just alone and uh, chances are you know you guys would talk a little more you guys would ended up winning a lot more matches than you usually would um, the only time I do play alone is probably in a quick match team death match or a quick match uh, ranked execution I usually just hop into those just to uh, screw around with the game and kind of just uh, have a fun time not take everything so serious uh, in ranked execution, I like to uh, to kind of play on the competitive side and and try and win, try and get that W as much as I can. Um, I'm not too worried about my kill death ratio, but uh, uh, I'm more worried about my win loss ratio. Um, but anyway, guys, that was my time. I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. If you could, please leave a comment in the section below and uh, please rate the video and be sure to subscribe for more high definition Gears of War 3 gameplay. I will catch you guys later.